Greetings Code Monkeys and fellow Vezzies and welcome back to Code of Lock Films. Um, so one of the things that uh, Matt challenged us to do um, over on his uh, Tumblr was to make a video that uh, was basically done with the bare minimum possible, you know, no editing, um, use, you know, the, the most basic camera that you have available to you, um, you know, just basically just try to, you know, make it again just totally bare minimum so I'm on my phone right now I've uh, I've turned off the lights that I would normally use to make you know this stuff look a lot better and uh, I'm just kinda chilling here you know on my bed and um, yeah so I think I'm going to switch hands first of all probably do that a couple of times um, for I, I, I've made a couple of videos in the past talking about um, talking about my uh, my pets, um, specifically my dogs that I've had over the years. Um, I'll probably put like a, a, a playlist in the uh, in the video description um, to you know so you can watch some of those videos if you want to. Um, you know, I, I talked about. Um, why I perceive my golden Ret my uh, Patronus to be a golden retriever, um, based on the first dog that I ever had. Um, I talked about Jake, um, who was our uh, border collie Sheltie mix that uh, that you know passed on. A, I think a little over a year ago. The time just runs together. I'm not even really sure how long it's been. But one thing I haven't mentioned on this channel yet is that Addie is no longer with us. Um, Addie was the one who would uh, who would bark in the background of my videos sometimes. If you watch the bloopers at the end of some of my you know longer review videos, you'll you often hear Addie barking at something. And you know she was just, she was she was not the brightest. Like I I, I know a lot of people you know like to say that and you're like oh my dog is super super smart and you know like that's been some of my dogs um you know Mavis who we have now is definitely a smart dog um Kirby's actually really really smart like he picks things up super quickly um but Addie was not that kind of dog she was she was a little bit of an idiot um, but you know it just she was around for so long. She was around, I believe, longer, longer than even my godson Brighton was uh, in uh, in 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 our in our lives. You know, like I believe she was around, uh, you know, long, long before uh, before he was, and not long before, maybe like a year. I don't know. I'm rambling a little bit, but you know, she was. We just knew her for so long. She didn't start out as really being our dog. Um, she was owned by my uh, my godson's mother, uh, Audrey, and uh, she originally got Addie because she looked like a miniature version of a uh, uh, what's the name of a Great Pyrenees. Um, had the exact same markings as this dog named Goldie, uh, who was the pet of the family that Audrey was nannying for at the time. And, um, she just ended up being, you know, a really big part of that family. And then for a while, you know, basically the, the, the time arrived where Audrey couldn't keep Addie with her anymore. And, um, I'm sorry. The, um, uh, she she was nannying for uh, somebody who who couldn't have dogs in the house, so we had Addie for a while there, and then she was um, you know living with her uh, with her grandma, not not her grandma, um, her mother, who is um, who was you know not able to have a dog with the sort of high energy needs that Addie had uh, in the house. So Addie you know ended up staying in our house until, and uh, basically until she died, um, and it was, it was really tough, um, it was particularly tough on Brighton, my godson, um, to my knowledge, it was his first experience with death, and I think a lot of kids, 
have experiences like that where their first major death is the death of a pet. And, you know, it just, I love, I love owning pets. I really do. Um, my life just, my life doesn't feel complete without a dog in it. It really doesn't. Um, I've had dogs almost ever since I can remember. I, I have literally one memory of a time when we didn't have dogs in our house. One memory, and that's it. You know, from then on, it's just been, we've, we've just always had dogs. And during times when there have not been dogs in the house, it just, it, it feels empty. And it feels really lifeless. Um, just like there's a piece missing. But, um... It... It is definitely hard. Because... You know, you, you just... You, you... With some rare exceptions, you're pretty much always going to outlive your pets. And... Each one of them leaves a little hole behind when they go. And that's that's really tough. But I guess it's ultimately totally worth it. Because, you know, Addie, just like any other dog that I've had, did so much to enrich my life and made it a happier a happier existence for a time. You know, she was always excited to see you. You know, she was so eager to please, you know, just loved to cuddle, was the sweetest thing in the world. Um, in a lot of ways, she was very much a mom. You know, like, I don't even really know how to explain it, but she just had a very mom-like energy to her. <laughs> um, yeah, it, uh, it's definitely difficult, but I guess the point I'm trying to make here is I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So, yeah, I just uh, wanted to share some some brief thoughts on on Addie there. Um, we uh, we all really miss her. Um, it was particularly hard on my dad because he was kind of her favorite in the house. Um, she spent a lot of her time curled up with her and it was really, really tough for, for him to lose her. Um, tough on all of us, but yeah. So she's actually, you know, we, we had her cremated like we had Jake cremated and she's actually currently sharing the same box with Jake. Um, and their tags are both on the same little loop on the front of that box because, you know, they really had a special bond. And we think that they would have, you know, appreciated being together. So, I don't know if this was terribly interesting or terribly compelling, but um, I guess challenge done, Matt. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the other challenges at some other time, but uh, I've been going on for about nine minutes here, so I think that's enough. Um, so until next time, Code Monkeys and Fellow Vedsies, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>